Hello. I'm going to apologize in advance. I Allergy season is upon me, so I'm a little bit nasally today. <laughs> okay. You are needing an autoresponder campaign with two emails. And I'm going to explain to you how to set that up, and then I'll explain to you um, how to get your your forms from your lists. Okay, first we're going to create an autoresponder. You click on autoresponder. So it's just taking it a little bit to load here. I apologize. And I'll probably have to do more than one video because I only have 15 minutes on each one. Okay, you're wanna you're gonna wanna connect this to a list, and I'm gonna presume maybe it's this one. You can always go back and edit anything from down here. So you'd want to, if you want to change your list, you want to go down here to recipients. I'll show you how to get to your autoresponder later because you just go back to the first tab that we were at and it would show you what autoresponders that you have. So you want to click next because I chose the list to use. Okay, now we're on the autoresponder configuration page. And you're going to want it to say subscribe to list. So this this correct here. As you can see, you could do um, other types of campaigns in here. Even when someone just browses to a URL, but you want this one right here is fine. And also trigger on import. The autoresponders in Mailchimp work two ways. They're either either sign up through an online form like you're wanting to do, or they can be. This autoresponder can be triggered on import of a list or if you would add them in manually. Uh, so you, you'd want to keep that uh, just in case you had a few people that you wanted to add on your own. Okay, and here you get to add when you want it sent out. You can have it sent out within an hour of them signing up, day, weeks, months. Let's just say that you're going to want this first one to go out an hour after the subscription. And then choose what days most people are going to choose seven days a week. You're going to be having them fill it out through an online form. Okay, and that's the way you set that up. It's very simple. And I'll show you on the next one how to make it go out maybe maybe the next day after. Just depends on what you're thinking with your campaign. I'm not sure so. Okay, name your campaign. I just put um, Tammy from Fiverr. Information you requested. Okay, this is ready. Hit next. You can always change these by going down here, clicking what you want to change. I'm going to assume you don't have any sub-templates, which I'll save one of them for you just to show you how. But this is this one right here is the basic basic template. And I use the drag and drop editor. It's, it's a lot easier to use. You get you can do many more things than you can with their uh, preset templates that they have. So I always use drag and drop. I am going to do a real simple uh, design for you. I, I grabbed your uh, logo or little header there off of your website. Oops. That was wrong. I did not want to do that. Let me go back and get this color again. Sorry about that. As you can see here, I'm changing the background color just to something simple right now. And you want to save. This editor is really easy once you do it. But I'm in the design right now for like 
uh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a little cough attack there. I'm just going to do a quick design for you, like I said. And this is where all the adjustments for the background and, um, and all of that good jazz. The body, if we wanted the body just to be background white, body text color. Let's just make it black. I like that better anyways. Easier to read. Okay. So you want to hit your content button. <clears throat> and this is where you put this is where you edit this over here. It's from these. So I want to make this white up here. Make it stand back out. And then you're gonna wanna design this to your preferences is showing you how to use this editor. Okay, I made this white. This is a two column up here, the pre header. We were working on column one. You'll see column two here. Got a co column two. And of course, highlight. This little button here gives you to the extra editing tools that they have. Okay, save and close. Now I'm going to start with your header here. I'll upload it. Go down here to browse for a file. I think it was screenshot one. Okay, I'm going to go to settings because I really kind of want it in the middle. Save and close that. Go to your next section. Delete all that. I found something from your website just to add in real quick. Just to give you an idea. And you always want to um, use these do not copy and paste from from Word or any other document, it can sometimes mess up the formatting and it'll look bad. Okay. Bold, I want the font. Arial. 18, we'll say. I want the color to be that pretty blue. I've got a neat little thing I used to get the exact colors on people's websites. Okay, that's that. I noticed that you had some social media, so you can, if you wanted to ever add in an image or anything, just drag these over here and I'll show you with your social follow because you're going to want to probably add that in later. Okay, you notice that it al it already has uh, Facebook, Twitter, your website. You might want to add in your email, let's just say. If not, you can always remove these just by clicking right, right there. Even if you wanted to put in another text box above that, you just kind of drag them where you need them. You could add in another text box with, and put in images. Maybe you just need an image. But you can add images from here in this text box, but I'm going to take that out for now. I never like this bottom. I always like the settings to be in the center. I think it looks nicer. to style. Some boxes will say style um, and then you'll see settings on others because you're always able to make 
like on this box here that we just did this section and your settings on this you can make this sorry about that more than one column if you wanted to Oops. you got your style other settings okay we'll save save this and close Okay, that's set up, and I'm just going to save this as a template to show you how. I'm going to name this the same as I named your campaign. And you will want to change this later. Okay, we're done designing. You might want to preview it. Just preview what it'll look like, and also in the mobile view. 51% of users view their emails on mobile, so. Looks nice. Okay, so you want to push next. Scroll down through here to make sure there's no warnings. Let's see. Um, oh, that's fine. It's just telling you right here that you need to, up at the top there where it was white, it's got their default wording in it. Okay. Then you would just want to go over here to to start autoresponder. Yes, we want to start. Okay, now to ask us where you want to go. The easiest way is to actually just replicate the last autoresponder that we made. taking you to the auto responders dashboard. This is where you find it to want to edit. See where it says edit here. You'll go, be able to go in and <coughs> change the name of it, etc. But you click down here and replicate. You would want to choose the same list that you had before. Hit next. Okay, you'd want this to remain the same, but here you would want to change this. Let's say um, you want to send it within a day. The next day, you had the first one sent within an hour. The next one you want to send within days, within one day, or you can change that to however many days after description to list. The time you want set out, it's sent out. I forgot to say that in the first one, so you can adjust the time here. Okay, that's good now. Next. Okay, now you'll notice that the name of the campaign is Copy One. So again, you'd want to come over here and, you know, update all this. Hit next. Okay. Okay, we're we're back to the. Um, design area. You could have if you wanted to use a different template. You would hit template. But that's fine just to design this one. It's probably easier but I'm just showing now you could get another template in there if you want. You'd want to hit save templates. You can see this one right here. You'd want to select that but we don't really want to do that. This time we'll just say that you were going to design the Okay, I'm back to the design because we did not choose that template. You can just come in here and edit this one when you're done. Next. And I'm about to run out of recording. It's going to take you to where it says, ask you if you want to start the autoresponder.